This is the Cycling News and Views podcast from Quick Release TV, and you're watching Bike Tech DIY in association with Welltight. This episode is about washing your bike. It'll perform better if you keep it in good condition. And that means keeping it lubricated too. Using bike-specific brushes, wash fluid and lubes is an investment extending the life of your components, improving your ride experience. Why wash? Road muck creates an effective grinding paste that can chew your chain and degrade your gears. Professional cyclists have mechanics to wash their bikes after every race. The mechanics do a thorough job and so should you. You can clean your bike with a sponge, an old toothbrush and washing up liquid but you'll get better results with bike-specific brushes and grime-busting bike wash fluids. Spray liberally and leave for a minute for the solvents to do their magic. This is a bike-specific brush from a bike brush set. It's a general-purpose brush, useful for agitating the wash fluid on frames, wheel rims and hard-to-reach nooks and crannies. Poke around to dislodge as much gunk as possible. Move the chain to one side to get to the front mech and the teeth on the chain set. This is a specialist chain and sprocket brush, thin for getting into the sprocket gaps and ridding the rear block of dirt. A standard 57 link chain has 10 parts per link. That's 570 parts per chain, more parts than the whole of the rest of the bike put together. A modern bushingless chain has 8 parts per link, but that's still a lot of links to keep clean, and they all need tender loving care. For the next job, it's best to clamp the bike into a repair stand. This clever contraption is a chain cleaning machine. When you run the chain through the device, internal brushes clean all parts of the chain with the minimum of mess. Use special chain degreasing fluid for best results. Install the machine, hooking the arm over the rear mech. Dribble in the chain degreasing fluid and pedal backwards to activate the internal brushes. They will flex and spin the chain rollers to dislodge dirt. Gunge goes into the reservoir. Just look at all that dirt now in the solvent and off your chain. You've applied wash fluid to the bike and cleaned the chain. Now rinse off with water. Use a garden hose, not a power washer, or you risk forcing water into bearings, even sealed units. You can keep hands clean with surgical gloves or go for the messy option and afterwards use a citrus hand degreaser. With your pinkies pink again, it's time for some lubing. There are lots of different lube types to choose from. This is a traditional mineral cycle oil, good for bikes with three-speed gears and perfect for squeaking doors too. This is a light, Teflon-based spray lube that penetrates well, disperses water and evaporates to leave a dry finish. Some cyclists wax their chains, a laborious and messy job. This wax lube does a similar job, but it's a lot easier to apply. It repels dirt and is water resistant. This thick, so-called wet lube, is long-lasting and good for winter use or long-distance cycling. Whichever lube you choose to apply, dry your chain thoroughly after rinsing it. Lube sparingly, don't go mad. 
it's critical to wipe off excess lube with a cloth. Your chain should feel dry to the touch, with just a hint of lube, no more than a light film on the chain plates. Dribble lube into those places on your bike where metal rubs against metal, such as here on the rear neck. Work in the lube by operating the neck with your hands. Lube the front neck here and here and work in the lube. The same rule applies to the brakes. Lube any exposed springs. Add a drop of lube to brake straddle wires. For smooth gear changing and braking, use a Teflon based grease on gear and brake cables. Change into bottom gear to release the slack in the gear cable. Apply a light coating of grease. Again, don't go crazy, a small amount will go a long way. Replace the cable outer. Wipe off excess, grease other cables the same way. A clean, well-maintained bike is a pleasure to ride.